Hi guys. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know how this always happens to me, but it does. Uh, yeah, I just start playing with stuff, and then before you know it, I got 20 journals. Um, <laughs> uh, so I did uh, May. Wait, is it May? Yeah. <clears throat> I did my May uh, monthly minis already. Um, I didn't do that many, though. I only I only got 15 of them. So um, I kind of just started, I don't know, I was just looking for inspiration and um, just went through this drawer of envelopes because I wanted to do some envelope journals, um, you know, for a while. Um, actually, what I started out doing was I was going to do popcorn bag journals, which I may still do, um, possibly for June. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe for June. And if I do the popcorn minis, I think I'm going to do two different sizes. So that should be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, while I was looking at the popcorn bags, I ran across these envelopes that I've had for a while. And these are actually document um, envelopes. Um, and I just, you know, started kind of playing around with it and did, you know, just some simple like collaging on one side. And I like them because they open at the side here, right? Um, but they're like a cream color, but, um, I decided I didn't like that. So I have avocado dye, um, in the refrigerator, um, that I can use. It's, I, I cook it down so it makes like a concentrate. So then when I want to avocado dye something, all I have to do is add some warm water to it and, you know, kind of like making Kool-Aid. <laughs> anyway, so I thought, okay, I'm going to avocado dye some of these. So, um, and the cool thing about the avocado dye, um, like process is that the best way to do it is to kind of let the, um, the paper sort of soak in that. I've got silk strands everywhere. Um, to, is to kind of let the paper just soak in it for a while. And that's how you get a really nice, um, deep color. And, um, so when you do envelopes, normally the envelopes, the glue on the envelopes kind of, um, you know, uh, loosens up while well, it dissolves. <laughs> so you're able to completely open up the envelope. And so that was kind of cool because, um, I didn't even think about that, but that was kind of cool because then I was able to actually stitch some pockets on the covers and also um, retain the ability to use the envelope like um, a pocket itself. Okay, I hope that's making sense. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I stitched a pocket on the front and back um, on each one. And then I also did you know, just a, just a pocket here and then, um, a pocket here. So I wanted to do magnets on all of the pockets, but, um, and I actually have some real small ones <clears throat> that I thought would work, but they didn't, they turned out to not be strong enough. So I had some other ones that were a little bit bigger and they worked really good, but I didn't have very many of them. So I wasn't able to do all of them with magnetic closure. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so the ones that do have magnets, there's one, I think that has two of the small ones at the top and bottom. Um, and it works fine, but, um, <clears throat> anyway, so, okay. I'm just rambling as usual. Anyways. So. Some of them are going to be magnets. If they're not, then I just did this type of closure, okay? And uh, on the ends. Um, so, so that was, it was nice that I was able to get the envelope um, open so that I could, you know, sort of do this type of closure um, and, and hide the, uh, the little brad underneath the seam there. So, Anyway, um, yeah, and so I wanted to make these guys super chunky, too, and uh, I used up a ton of um, tags and um, just, like, little ephemera type of things, too. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, these are semi-naked 
um, in that, you know, I didn't embellish any of the pages really. Um, I just, you know, tried to use paper that I like and, um, you know, added some pockets and stuff. But anyway, so let me flip through one of these. So <clears throat> you're going to get, oh, and then I did a, um, <laughs> sorry you guys. Um, and then I did a paperclip book charm, um, like tassel for each one too. So when I did the, um, I put the silk on the, you know, you just kind of loop it through the bottom of the paper clip. And then what I did was I just looped it through and then I actually wrapped, um, like button thread around it and tied it off. Um, and then, um, ripped it into strips. So, you know, tore it, ripped it up to where it was, you know, tied on. So it's really only like two, um, pieces of silk, but since I tore it into little, you know, strips, it looks like a lot more than that. Anyways, I like how those turned out. And, um, so those, I didn't want to put an eyelet in the cover because I didn't want it to affect your ability to be able to put things in that pocket, right? So I just put each of the little tassels on a, um, on a little clip, okay? And that way, I don't know, I think that's kind of cool too because then you can put it wherever you want and you can move it around or whatever. Um, so yeah, so the, there's a, there's a little, um, like a rusty charm with a, um, little tiny safety pin and then, um, some vintage buttons too. So, okay. Um, so then in the pockets, I just, you know, I guess, guys, I just pulled out a whole drawer full of paper stuff that I wanted to use up. So, you know, there's, they're all obviously going to be different. These are just images that I printed off and I folded them up. Um, I thought they were printing on cardstock, but they weren't. So that's why I did that. Um, just little remnants of, of things, you know, these are some index cards that I cut in half. Um, and then I got this really cool washi tape that has like a grid pattern on it. And then some of it has just like a stripe too, or just like a lined pattern. Um, so I used some of that on some of these. And then, um, the record albums that I sold on a live sale recently, the, um, I don't, if, you know, hopefully maybe you guys know what I'm talking about, but, um, the pages in those albums these are like the old 78 records um but i just have the empty albums right so it still has the pages in it so you have the pockets um that you would put the records in are inside those albums and i still have a bunch of those albums left if anybody's interested let me know um but anyways i love the paper that the sleeves are made out of so I had a couple of the albums where the covers were really warped and really badly damaged, but the paper inside was really nice. So um, I was able to salvage some of that paper and use it as a um, as a pocket in these little mini journals. So yeah, um, repurposing, you know. So I'll just flip through this one. I uh, got some grid paper, and then this is actually onion skin stationery paper that I. I found somewhere um, some dictionary pages these are um, some little um, <laughs> these are like uh, coupons that you would use if you were traveling in France and they came from like a travel agency or something and then uh, some sheet music this is some old like computer like ledger style computer paper uh, probably from the 80s this is like a little um, it's French idioms and phrases, so they're like, um, I don't know, it was some kind of workbook or something. And then some just botanical images from a book. This is a um, bridge score sheet, some more of that onion skin paper, and see it has the person's initials on it. Um, this is some more like letterhead paper. It's really cool paper. It's like a cottony paper, and I tea dyed that. And then... Some more ledger paper this came out of just like a desk ledger you know and a different I don't remember what that is it's some kind of train thing um, 
this is some onion skin paper. When I was drying some paper clips that I had rusted, I just spread a whole bunch of them out on some onion skin paper. So I got some little impressions of paper clips on some of that paper. And some avocado dyed paper. This is from a little address book. And some glassine paper. Some more tea dyed paper. And then there's a glassine envelope in each one that I just fold it in half and cut the ends off. And then I use the flap, turn the envelope upside down and use the flap as just a little tuck spot. Um, and then I just stuffed a bunch of little random things in these pockets. So there's, these are like the Tim Holtz tickets, stamps, um, some images of my family, old, you know, vintage images. Um, this is a Tim Holtz picture, I think. Um, but yeah, maybe. Is that one of my, I think that's one of my pictures. <laughs> Oops. I don't know who it is. So doesn't that look like a Tim Holtz guy? Um, anyway, so I just put a bunch of random stuff in these pockets, in these old glassine envelopes. Um, oh, and I didn't tell you, I did put, um, a collage tag in the, the pocket on the front too. And then there's also one on the back. So, um, some more like botanical pages. And this is like a kid's, like a composition book. Um, it's kind of cool. It has like blank paper at the top and then it has line paper at the bottom on each page. Um, this is just a book of poetry. And then, um, this is a, like a little pad of paper that I got at, uh, Joann's the other day. And it's like in those bins, you know, but I thought it was kind of pretty. Um, there's a couple more tags. The center. Okay, so then it just repeats going backwards, right? So then there's just more stuff in this little guy. And it's always kind of a surprise in those envelopes when I just stuff a bunch of random stuff in there. Yeah, see, I knew this was some kind of train thing. It's like a transfer slip for Santa Fe, Santa Fe like, railway. Um, yeah, so single signature. Um, there's another tag in the back of this pocket. And then, you know, you just open this up and there's more stuff in there. And then I did a, um, a pocket on the back too. So you get, oh, you know, at least three or four of these little collaged, uh, tags. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I did 20 of these. I was going to just do 10. And I was going to maybe do them kind of like as a Mother's Day type of thing. And then I still had a bunch more of the avocado dyed envelopes. And so um, I pulled out a whole bunch of um, my eco dyed paper and um, some uh, marbled paper. And um, so I just wound up collaging 10 more envelopes. Um, with those, with the eco dye and the marbleized paper, um, and a little bit of book paper here and there. But um, so there's ten where the base of the base of the envelope is just book pages that are collaged, and then there's ten where um, they're the eco dye and the marbleized paper as the you know the the base. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see the difference. Like, let's see. See, they're different <laughs> anyways um, but they're all mixed up so yeah so there's 20 of them um, in in my Etsy shop as soon as I you know get this video uploaded I'll activate those listings and then uh, yeah so they're ready to go um, I'm not gonna waste your time going through you know looking at every single one of these that would just be ridiculous um, but I really had fun making these and I put, I put a lot of, um, energy into details on these journals. So, um, hopefully, you know, that'll, that'll come through, um, on all of the little, um, closures, I did the little hearts on them. Some of them actually got flowers, but yeah, so I did little hearts on all the little strings and I really had fun making these. So I got to do something a little bit different and um, use up a whole bunch of 
stuff that I've had hanging around for quite a while. And, um, yeah, I didn't sleep last night, so, <laughs> um, I was going to just list the journals and then make a video tomorrow, but I thought, no, I'll just go ahead and make a quick, a quick video just to get them out there. And then, uh, you know, and then I don't have to think about it anymore. So, all right. So there's 10 photos of each journal, um, you know, for each listing. So you get a pretty good idea of what they all look like. Okay. This one has a tag. It does have a tag. It's just, uh, it doesn't have a, like a top around it. See? So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> take a look at them. Um, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, thanks for putting up with me slacking off on Sunday live stream and stuff and all that, but you know, life happens. So anyway, big old pile of mini journals, huh? So check them out. Yeah, they're all different and you know, they're all, um, they're all kind of cool. So anyways, um, oh, I got to find where this came from. Here it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up and sorry for my, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, but I know I probably sound like a zombie. So if zombies could talk, this is what they would sound like. <clears throat> Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for your support and um, happy Mother's Day coming up. I think I'm going to try to live stream on Sunday. So hopefully all you moms that are into hanging out can come and come and hang out and maybe we'll work on the, um, either the page 42 project or, um, the, um, the game cards again. So, okay guys, love you. Talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. Bye.